only two eggs today? Polidus must have taken the day off. Seven, eight, nine, two, five, nine, oh, three, six, oh, nine, three, three, oh, five, three, oh, five, four, eight, eight, two, four, four, six, six, five, two. The Manhattan incident triggered a serious public backlash. Now the U.S. has to think twice before intervening militarily in other countries' affairs. This has fueled a push towards military privatization, with PMCs at the heart of that movement. PMCs? Private military companies? That's right. PMCs have no basis in nations or ideologies. They are private enterprises, driven by profit. In addition to dispatching mercenaries to war zones, they secure weapons and train local soldiers. They're contractors for war itself, and business is good. Their clientele includes developed nations like the U.S., rebel factions looking to seize power by force, smaller countries lacking armies of their own, even terrorist groups. They're in the Americas, Asia, the South Pacific, Europe, Africa, the Middle East. The rise of the PMC has spawned a war by proxy, and it's spreading across the globe. They're, they're... Sonny, we'll eat them later, okay? Every age has its mercenary. These PMCs are nothing new. We've been dealing with them since before the turn of the century. No, Snake. They're nothing like the mercenaries of the past. Ready. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. The Pentagon's new battlefield control system has produced a decisive difference between hired guns and the PMCs of today. The system was developed by Arms Tech Security. Arms Tech? You mean AT Corp? Yeah. In recent years, AT Corp has shifted focus from weapons development to security tools. And since the establishment of AT Security, business has been booming. The system makes it possible to integrate not only micro-level information on individual soldiers and units, but also macro-level information about field conditions and order of battle. So they finally achieved total real-time battlefield control. That's right. And as a result, the global presence of PMCs has grown, explosively. Truth is, the rise of system-controlled PMCs has led to a dramatic decline in civilian casualties and human rights violations on the battlefield. A cleaner, safer battlefield. <laughs> Makes for nice propaganda. State governments and rebel groups can't match the maintenance price of standing forces. PMCs, by comparison, are reliable, easy to use. It wasn't long before everybody had them on the payroll. And, as a result, regular armies began to decline worldwide. It's hard to believe, I know, but PMCs are beginning to overtake conventional armies in terms of scale. Nowadays, it's the PMCs who serve as standard battalions. They already make up 60% of all combatant forces in zones of conflict. 60%? The fact is, the world now depends largely on PMCs for waging its wars. 
I thought it was the UN that authorized the PMCs in the first place. The US abstained from voting on that resolution. In effect, Washington was endorsing PMCs without ever revealing its true intentions. Until they got wind of the uprising, that is. The US has exported too much military power. And now, she's paying the price. That's exactly it. America has now turned war into a form of economic activity. Analysts are calling it the war economy, in that it's picking up the slack for the downward sloping oil market. But I, for one, don't intend to simply stand by and watch it happen. For the PMCs, market expansion entails fanning the flames of war. It means more refugees, war orphans, child soldiers. Yes. Even as PMC soldiers get more specialized, they're also getting younger. Mercenaries spun off from state armies, unmanned weapons, child soldiers, proxy battles in a new Cold War. There are hundreds of PMCs in business worldwide, and their numbers are growing. Currently, five of them are big enough to be labeled global powers, two in the US, and one each in the UK, France, and Russia. Reconnaissance has revealed that those five PMCs are run by a dummy corporation that acts as a single mother company. This mother company embodies the five largest PMCs. Her name is Outer Heaven. Outer Heaven? You mean? That's right. It's Liquid. Liquid? He's taken command of this immense army and is now preparing to unleash an insurrection. I watched him die. His will lives on, in the body of the man once known as Ocelot. He aims to fan the flames of war even higher, to create the perfect world once envisioned by Big Boss. The one world in which soldiers will always have a place. He must be stopped, before it's too late. Do you understand, Snake? Any means necessary. Just stop Liquid's insurrection, even if it means killing him. You want Liquid dead? Isn't that right, Colonel? I'm sorry. I know. This isn't justice. It's a covert assignment. A hired hit. A wet works op targeting the head of a major multinational corporation. Uh, why me? Because of the military might of the PMCs, and the effect they have on the economy. War is to the 21st century what oil was to the 20th, the pillar that supports the global economy. You'll recall a rather alarming report issued by that American think tank during the Cold War. One that described a new model for perpetual war. What we're facing now is a whole new ball game. Iron Mountain's Delphi technique. That was fiction. It existed only on paper. The reality is far more serious. The global community is concerned, but they're all too afraid of the war economy collapsing to do anything about it. The UN, too. Huh. Sounds pretty self-serving to me. Snake. This mission isn't an order from Washington. Not like the old days. And it's not something the UN can officially sanction, either. But we can't just look the other way, while Liquid plots this insurrection. If we fail to act, he'll become the greatest threat the world has ever faced. Snake. You're the only man I can trust. Let's hear it.
Our intelligence on Liquid's uprising originally comes via reports from U.S. Special Forces, who were mobilized after we at the U.N. reported our findings. They're tracking Liquid's movements. About 18 hours ago, he was spotted in the Middle East. There's a rebel army in the Middle East, made up of ethnic minorities, waging civil war against the regime in power. The core of that regime's army is provided by one of the PMCs under Liquid's control. What about the rebels? The local militias have hired small numbers of operators as trainers and field commanders. And of course, they've got help from the local PMCs. Right. A proxy war between hired guns. PMC versus PMC. A quagmire of war. All too typical victims of the new world economy. Snake, you'll be sneaking into the conflict zone via transport truck, disguised as one of the Rebel Army's hired operators. Your first objective is to make contact with our informants, Rat Patrol Team Zero One. They'll be expecting you. Rat Patrol, huh? They sound sneaky. They're a special forces team assigned to the Army's PMC Investigation Unit, CID. CID? Real rats of the army. No. I can vouch for them personally. Friends of yours. You could say that. Transportation to the area will be provided under cover of a UN humanitarian aid mission, with support from the US military. From there on, though, you'll get no protection and no guarantees from anyone. And you must not leave behind any evidence of your involvement in the area, let alone that of the UN. If word of this ever leaked out, it would spark a global firestorm. Snake. Do this for me. Will you terminate Liquid? I'm not like the PMCs. I don't need your money. Thank you. But if you're going to spark something, spark this. Fine. I'll start my own fire. <laughs> <laughs> 